What's going on, people? Today, I'm getting into my movie review of Captain America, The Winter Soldier, and I got that coming up for you next. So Captain America Winter Soldier just came out in 4K and um, I always separate my Marvel uh, movie reviews from my home disc reviews just because of the fact that I love talking about Marvel and DC. And if you didn't see my Captain America the first Avenger movie review, I actually did it last month when it came out in 4K, and you guys can check that out right over here. And if you like what I do with Marvel films and DC films and a whole lot more, I do this all the time. So you can subscribe down here, and if you have seen this release already, let me know what you think. I know a lot of people are very mixed about the actual 4K copy, but that will be reviewed on a separate uh, review, and uh, we're just talking about the movie over here. So comment down below if you guys have opinions about the movie. So Captain America The Winter Soldier was directed by the Russo brothers, and it stars Chris Evans as the Captain America, Scarlett Johansson, Sam Jackson, Anthony Mackie, and Robert Redford, along with a whole lot more other people like all Marvel films do. Now, this movie blew me away when I first saw it just because, um, you know, Marvel is always good with mixing things up as far as their aesthetic is concerned and you know you'll have like a science fiction movie you'll have a science fiction comedy you'll have like uh th this like techie kind of movie like uh what iron man is and then here this is where captain america truly finds his groove as kind of a spy espionage thriller and that is largely because of what the russo brothers bring to this movie and this will start their reign in marvel that has even lasted until today with of course endgame and uh yeah it all started here and this is such a a strong start for them the vibe here is instantaneously different you know you notice it right away but in a good way you know you really uh are kind of taken back by the the vibe and just the overall thrilling nature of this movie it's just a lot more tense and that has to do with the expert editing in this movie and you know please excuse the uh garbage trucks that are coming by my house i don't feel like they're going anywhere anytime soon so i'm just gonna continue on with the review um <laughs> They uh, they just have a style that is just immediately noticeable. And along with that, you know, Chris Evans had really came to play here. And I just feel like First Avenger, you know, it's a very good start for Chris Evans as Captain America. But here he finds his groove as well as kind of the old school guy from the old school way of doing things that, um, you know, he is a goody-goody. He is going to take orders, but he uh, also isn't just going to follow them blindly. There will be times in this movie where Captain America notices that S.H.I.E.L.D. isn't doing the right thing, and he's not just going to follow his orders. And I just really dig that about Cap and this version of Cap th th there's just a lot more dimension there and Chris Evans really comes to play in this movie and man he is he, he just steps it up I love his Captain America and to be quite honest I feel like after this movie the whole love for Captain America as a character stepped up to the point where now my 
My two-year-old son loves, loves Captain America. He, you know, it's like a tie between Captain America and Iron Man for him. And I, I feel like it's because of this movie, because I remember as a kid that Captain America was just that fuddy-duddy superhero, and he was always in my comics, and I always kind of liked him, but I didn't really get a whole lot from him, and I just really feel like it is because of movies like this that really brought Captain America to the forefront. And, um, y you know, I feel like this movie does a lot of things for Black Widow as well. She gets a lot more of a rapport with Cap, and that comes across so great here. And that is another thing about the Russo brothers and what they bring to the Captain America franchise. I feel like they um, really bring in some supporting characters to help Cap out that really, really just makes the Captain America movies just so much more special. And Black Widow definitely does that here. The whole plot of this movie, and uh, without revealing a whole lot of spoilers, I'm going to guess you guys have seen this movie before, but without revealing a whole lot of spoilers in case you didn't, look... There are a whole lot of twists and turns in this movie that you, you, you don't expect to see coming. And this movie really, uh, before Infinity War came, and uh, definitely before Endgame came, it was the most surprising movie that I saw in theaters where my, my, my jaw was just on the floor with the plot twists that were here because they were just so good and i just felt like even though that this movie it wasn't like a true avengers movie it really meant something for this this franchise and man i i felt like this movie was actually something important that they they, they had something that they wanted to say with this and you th that feeling never goes away for this movie and along with that, you get Robert Redford coming back for this movie. You know, you you would never expect Robert Redford in a Marvel movie before this. But, hey, Marvel knows how to bring these people back with Anthony Hopkins and Michael Douglas. You know, they just have a way of bringing back old actors and um, that, that, that people would really enjoy. The action in this movie is so tight and kinetic and just enthralling it is like you took just a one of those large as hell cans of red bull and just sucked it all down in one gulp i could not believe it the first time that i saw this movie i loved the action for captain america went i loved the action in this movie and it always excites me even today when i i know what's coming because i've seen this movie i don't know how many damn times in fact this is one of those rare action movies where the action actually escalates you see the first action scene in this movie and you say damn that was good and i don't i don't know if they can be able to do better than this and then they do and then you say, hey, I, what? I don't, I can't see them topping this. And then they do, and they keep on doing it. And, oh, man, the, the end action scene, just because of the emotion involved is, is just in incredible. I really feel like Captain America Winter Soldier um, is, is a 9 out of 10. It has some of the best plotting, and I, I I feel like it has definitely some of the best action. And I almost I you know I struggled with giving it a ten out of ten, but I will talk about that during my Civil War review. I am going to do that after I review Winter Soldier in four K. So I will talk about why. I didn't give this a 10 out of 10 in that review, but uh, just suffice it to say, this movie is awesome. 
you guys have seen it. You know, this movie is is incredibly popular, but if you haven't for some reason, what the hell is wrong with you? Check this out. This is awesome. And coming up next on the channel, uh, I have to review Captain America Winter Soldier in 4K Ultra HD. And then I do have to get into the movie review and the uh, 4K review for Civil War. And then I have to get into Alien. You guys have been waiting for that. I can't wait to talk about it with you guys. And then, you know, you got Hellboy coming out. Wow. I have a lot to talk to you guys about. And even though it is a daunting task to take on, I am excited for it. So if you are excited along with me and you want to hear me talk about that, just subscribe right down here because I make that easy for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. I don't even need to say it because you know it. And I will see all of you next time.